Hi guys, this is Abhishek Kumar. Welcome to my channel. Today, I would like to discuss a topic relevant with the power transformer testing. Today, we will check the voltage vector relationship. During testing, uh, we have to prove certain relationship uh, for checking the voltage vector group. Today, I am going to take an example of a vector group and we will share a test results like how they are testing the voltage vector relationship so i am continuing check of voltage vector relationship voltage vector relationship we will take an example dy1 dyn 11 we are taking an example dyn 11 d is your primary delta secondary is star connected which is lagging the primary by an angle of 30 degree here 11 it's showing the clock position so we will draw a vector group diagram This is delta winding and we will uh, write the notification like 1u, 1b and 1w. This is the primary winding and we have a star connected which is at angle of 30 degree that is 11 o'clock position. So this is 11 o'clock position, this is 12 o'clock position, this is 1 o'clock. So in that direction your star will be there is and this now notify this this is 2u this is 2v this is 2w the same order anti-clockwise direction 2u 2v and 2d 2w this is 2n 2 denotes the secondary side voltage and 1 denotes the primary side voltage so what i am seeing here in this vector relationship that 1u and 2u is connected so if we connect 1u and 2u that means primary of primary u phase of primary and uh, u phase of secondary if we connect u that means r by b you can say r by b so if we connect r primary of r and secondary of r so we will join 1u and 2u and we will apply a three phase voltage in primary that means 1u 1v and 1w we will apply a 415 volt to the primary and we will measure voltage like after applying the voltage we will apply 1u and 1v we will measure the voltage between 1u and 1v measure the voltage between 1u and 1v measure the voltage between 1V and 1W measure the voltage between 1W and 1U I will show you the test results just after applying the 3 phase voltage you have to measure these 3 voltages 1U, 1V, 1V, 1W and 1W, 1U in the transformer and also measure the voltage between others that I will define in uh, the certain some few relationship so what what you will define here that now we will find some vector relationship simply we have to join this we have to join this we have to join this and we have to join this so we have joined 1w 2w and 2n so what you can say that here 1v 2w should be equal to 1v 2v this is the first condition because both magnitudes should be same so what we will do we will measure the voltage between 1v and 2w and 1v and 2v and we will check whether the value is same or not if it is same then we can say that one relationship is okay 
either relation is we have to measure voltage between 1 w and 2 v 1 w and 2 v and 1 w 2 w 1 w voltage between 1 w and 2 w and the relation will be like 1 w and 2 v magnitude will be always greater than 1 w 2 w so that is the second relation now the third relation is we have to measure the voltage between 1 u and 1 v 1 u between 1 u and 1 v should be equal to 1 u and 1 v should be equal to 1 v 2 n voltage between 1 v and 2 n we will measure the voltage between uh, primary of y phase and neutral plus 1 u 2 n that means that magnitude 1 u 1 v magnitude will be equal to this plus this if we verify this free equation then we can prove that our vector group is dy and 11 now i am going to show a test result this is the dy and 11 configuration and they have draw a vector group so they have after applying the three phase voltage 1u 1v 1w they have measured the voltage between 1u 1v 1v 1w and 1w 1u so what they have getting the value is 413 418 and 416 now they have measured the voltage between 1v and 2w 1v and 2w and 1v and 2v so you can say the both results 299 is almost equal to 297 that means our first relation is okay now the second relation is what we have discussed earlier that 1w 2v 1w 2v is always greater than 1w 2w so they have measured the voltage between 1w and 2v that is 440 volt and 1w 2w 298 so here we can say that 440 is greater than 298 hence it is proved dy and 11 now the third relationship was 1u 2 and they have measured the voltage between 1u and 1v 1u and 1v okay now 1v and 2n 1u and 2n is 82 volt and 1v 2n 1v 2n is 330 volt so they have added 330 plus 82 then our 1u 1v volt is 413 and addition is 412 this is almost equal so we have proved this free equation and now we can say that this vector group is dyn11 so thank you thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe if any other topics you'd like to discuss then please comment thank you